and we don't have a clue what we're doing <laughs> i'm fishing not a clue we're just out here i'll tell you what we're doing we're throwing it out there and we're reeling it in <laughs> we're throwing it as my dad would say how are you catching them i'm throwing it out there and reeling it in what's up guys we're at uh lake lacine today oh there's stinger right there so we're guys. at lacine lake uh, Lacine Reservoir, whatever you want to call it, home of the big boys. Uh, there's some, there's some mutant fish in here. You got the power plant over there. Uh, we'll get some footage of that when we get out there. But um, caught a lot of big fish out of here. We're gonna go for wipers and bass, mainly bass. If the bass are biting, you may not see us wiper fish much. But no. hopefully we catch some fish for you guys. Stinger's pumped. I know this is his first time out here. Fired up, baby. Fired up. We're gonna be getting ready to dump in the water and uh, waiting on these old guys. Waiting on these old guys to get out of the way. See ya. guys uncle stringer here with a uh, dink on square bill one of the ways that I like fishing this is I like throwing it up against them rocks and I'll crank it hard and fast where it bounces off the rocks off the bottom you know it just it's just beating off the bottom the whole time Let's put this back in there um, yeah it, you, you know crank it it's just nose diving down in there bam 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 you know like a crawfish or something and they hear that bait hitting the rocks and they'll come in there after it. It's a, it's a pretty solid solid bait to use. Dives five foot deep. This is the big one. Looks like it's got two shad. Two eyes on it. Makes it look like a two shad there. But anyway, yeah, you bang it on the rocks, bang it off of cover, uh, stumps, whatever. I mean, you, fish will... Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be afraid. Throw it in there, man. Hey, worst case scenario... You just go get go it. Go get it. Yeah. It's no big deal. Get this go back, 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 back. Big one? I don't I think so. Okay. I get the trout net. Awesome. Dick Russell's got a little dink net here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I got. Well, we gotta see it. Oh, hi. Oh, get him around the tool Get him around the tool motor if you have to. Big wipe I don't know. Come up. Oh my gosh. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Right big bass. Right big bass. Right here. Ah! Not, but not keeper. huge. Keeper. Not nice huge. Nice keeper, that one. Folks. Well, seen, baby. Let me tell you again. Let me tell you one more time. Hit the rocks. Right there. Look at my rod. <laughs> uh, Look at that. Crank bait produces nice fish off them rocks, riffraff rocks. I'll tell you guys a little story. My first trip to Lacine, I had a guy out here. He said, this lake can either uh, make you famous and be one of your best days, or it can make you want to sell all your tackle. 
So that's kind of the enigma, the uh, mystique of what we call the Swan Lake, because I guess Maria de Singh, which flows into Lacine, somehow means swan, Some somehow rough translation there. in the boat today. We might just try a try him up. drum smothered in cheeses later. Maybe not. Big, Big what? Big, Big, Big what? I don't know. Oh, we got a knit? Knit job? Yeah. Serious? Something big here, folks. He's swimming out to deep water. He's big. Whatever it is, he's big. <laughs> oh my gosh, giant catfish. <laughs> he ain't gonna fit in that head. It's a big flathead, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Oh, shoot. He's huge. <laughs> yeah, he's huge. This is why you need a bigger net than Dick Russell's little trout net here. Sorry, Dick. <laughs> I should have known better. That's a huge, that's a huge, huge fish. Uh, wow. I've heard stories of catfish down at Lacine Reservoir engulfing entire human bodies and taking them underwater. Broke his net. Yeah, it broke the net. Uh, yeah, it's broke. Yeah, 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 it's broke. Hey, look at that fish. <laughs> Get the tail straight, bro. Okay guys, that was a, that was about a, I don't know, we didn't weigh it, I'd say he's 15 to upper teen uh, flathead catfish on a shaky head with a big old finesse worm on it down here at Lacine Lake. And uh, it's always fun fighting something that big on light line, but I'll tell you what, that was fun. That was fun and no thanks to that little bitty trout net that Dick Russell likes to use. Maybe this will actually give him an excuse to get a man's well, but, net now. But you do realize that he only uses, he only got a net for the size of the fish that he catches. Yeah, he must be used to catching two pound fish and we just put about a 20 pounder in there. And... Well, I was cranking that one fast and he was chasing it hard. Like you you know what I mean, like he did? Like that one. See, I told you. Both looking. Keeper number two. Yep, not what you come to the scene for. Not at all. But. We're catching fish and you can't beat that, right? No, uh-uh. I'm not gonna complain ever. No, never. He keep calling it. And we got a bass. Now we're fishing, okay? Now we're river fishing. We're, we know what we're doing here, folks. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Talk to me. Right down the side of that log. I called that. Love that chatterbait. I love you. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Good day. Good. Love you, buddy. Woo! That's a good time. Catfish guys at home, if I'm not judging that thing correctly, if that's not a 20 pound flathead, that's my fault. I'm a bass fisherman. I would say he was at least 15 pounds. 